Alrighty, this is going to be a all things visual mod for everything I have installed. Uh, you probably already saw the sneak peeks and everything I put in the video, or maybe I'll put it at the end. I'm not 100% sure where I'll put it, but we're going to do this in one take. It's going to be everything you need for 5M, everything you need for your GTA folder, and as an added bonus, I'm going to have a couple of premium packs if you want to if you want to buy some stuff that might make your game just look a little bit better than the rest. But for the 90% of the viewers, the free stuff is going to do just fine and make your game look so, so, so good. All right. So you'll notice my desktop has a bunch of stuff on it. It's a lot of mods to install. We're going to start to start walking you through it. So you're going to want to, before we begin, open up two different folders. You're going to want to open up your Grand Theft Auto directory folder, which is going to be usually under Steam. If you have it through Steam, it might be through Rockstar Games. I don't know, but... You need to find where this folder is. Then you're also going to want to open up your 5M application data folder. Those are the two folders we're going to be working in and out of. And uh, yeah, uh, so everything's already installed for me, so I'm not going to actually be doing the installs, but I will walk you through it. I'll just do everything except for actually drag the files over, obviously. So um, the links to this are all going to be below this video as well as in a drive folder in the exact same order that they are here so you can work through it the exact same way I do. First thing we're going to do is going to be the 5m.zip. These are some custom 5m files that I've been using for a long time. It just makes the game look really good, especially like sunsets and everything. It's nice. This does a lot of skybox stuff. So start with that. That's going to be the citizen there. We're going to find our application data folder. Let's get them side by side here and uh, we're just going to follow it. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of just following the pathways. So, 5M application data citizen, citizen on the 5M folder. You're gonna drag over the x64 folder into your 5M application. Just literally drag it over. Um, I already have it here, so I don't need to worry about that. But that's where it goes. Uh, and then next, we're gonna go into common data on both, and then pretty much everything here. You're gonna just highlight it and drag it over. Now, if you already have an effects folder or a timescale folder or a UI folder, which you probably will have a UI folder, then just open it and then drag over what's inside the folder instead of actually replacing the entire thing. That way you don't mess up the files that you already have. But for the most part, if you don't have these files, you just drag them over and there you go. Uh, that's going to be it for, for the 5M folder. So we are done with that one. Next up is going to be our LA Revo. Uh, now, LA Revo, this is the 5M install um, version. There's two ways we're going to install this. Uh, this is just the version that will work for most people. This did not work for me. It was causing issues where when I flew in, the sidewalks were like the LA Revo version, and then they would like flip back to normal after a few seconds. So if that happens to you, we're going to do the other install anyway, so it won't really matter. But if this does work for you, then by all means, by all means, use it. Uh, so this is very easy. Uh, you're just going to your citizen platform on both, then levels on both. If you don't have a levels folder, just drag over the entire levels folder and call it a day. If you do have a levels folder, keep following the pathways and uh, and you get the you get the picture it's this one's pretty tedious there's a lot of stuff to drag over and go through um but trust me when i say it's worth it this replaces a bunch of in-game textures and they look really 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 good so that's where that goes heli revo there you go feel free to pause the video if you're having trouble keeping up since i'm not actually dragging everything over so next up is the other install of LA Revo. Now, before I get into this, uh, what is it? Anything that has to do with in your 5M application data folder, your mods folder, which is where this thing goes, anything that has to do with that, you have to be launched in uh, 5M developer mode, which means you're going to see in the top left of your screen uh, CFX dev mode enable in red text and it's is a little bit big. It doesn't take up too much of the screen. I'd say it goes to about here, like four applications worth just in the top left. So if that is a problem for you, if that is going to bother you, if you're like, hey, I don't want to see that red text, then just ignore anything that I do in the mods folder 
and your game will still look the exact same, except you won't have the LA Billboards pack, which replaces like the Hollywood sign to actually say Hollywood, um, the Vinewood Hills to say Beverly Hills, uh, Life Invader turns to Facebook, Bean Machines turn to Starbucks, so forth and so on. There's an In-N-Out burger. It, it's really cool. It's a really good pack, and I would definitely recommend using it. But if you don't want to have that red text, then just don't worry about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and regardless drag the LA Revo into your mods folder right now. The reason being is regardless if it's the first install works or not, that way it's already done. So if the first one doesn't work, you can just launch in dev mode and then it 100% will work. Um, only trade off, like I said, is that red text. But go ahead and just drag over LA Revo into your mods folder. Sorry about the rambling, just trying to explain. I'm done with that. Then we'll do LA Billboards. Uh, if you don't want this pack, obviously skip it. But again, the same thing. Mandatory install, mod install, LA Billboards.rpf. Drag it over. We're done. Very easy. And last step is you're going to need to find your 5m.exe. And this is for anyone who did the dev mode install. So if you wanted LA Billboards or you wanted the uh, LA Revo to work if it wasn't working for you normally, um, this is how you get that to be activated, but everything else should work just right now if you launch 5M. But if you want to launch in dev mode and get the billboards, here's how you do it. You're going to find 5M.exe. You're going to go ahead and send to desktop. You're going to make a, sh a new shortcut for it, unless you already have one on your desktop, and then just find that shortcut. It doesn't matter what shortcut it is. Once you do that, you're going to find my shortcut. It's right here. You're going to right-click your shortcut and click on... That was a folder. You're going to right click your shortcut and click on properties and you're going to see that it has this uh, this pathway which just tells the computer where your 5M is and then it's going to say .exe and that's going to be it. What you want to add at the end of that line is space plus set space um, mod dev mode one and this is cap sensitive this will be in the description below. You just add this in this line with the space in between the exe click apply and click OK. Then every single time you launch your 5M, launch it from this shortcut. And what will end up happening is it'll open up just like normal. The only difference <clears throat> is you're gonna have this red text in the top, and this is, this is reshade that opened up in the top, it'll go away. You're gonna have this red text that says CFX mod dev mode enabled. That's not gonna go away when you're playing the game. So if that bothers you, don't do dev mode. Just don't do the uh, the real, uh, whatever it's called, the uh, the real looking. Um, what well, English is hard. I can't I can't think of what I was gonna say. The, oh yeah, the real agriculture, like uh, the the Starbucks and all that. Just don't do any of that, and then you should be able to connect directly to the uh, game. Okay, I lied. So if it has to do a restart. What you're going to do is let it open up. It's going to be out of dev mode. So it's going to be everything installed except for if you're like me, LA Revo won't work and the real stuff. You're going to let it load completely in to the server. Or at least to this screen. Then we're going to quit out. Then we're going to open back up from the shortcut. And then we should be able to connect to the server in dev mode with no problems. <laughs> there we go. And now we'll see dev mode's enabled and we're joining into the server. So we'll let it do its thing here. LA Vegetation. Now this one is going to go in your normal uh, citizen. So you don't have to worry about that dev only stuff. But we're going to go platform on both, platform on both levels, levels, GTA 5, GTA 5, props, props. Procedural, procedural, VPROC1, VPROC1. Now, with this, you want to highlight everything in here and drag it over. And you do want to replace files. If there are files in here that are already in your VPROC folder, go ahead and replace them with this because this vegetation is a lot better. Um, once you do that, we're going to go back to the uh, props folder and go into vegetation. Same thing, go through every single one of these folders and drag them to their corresponding folders. If you're missing a folder, like I think Exit Veg and Bush and Potted, I think aren't there by, uh, for you, 
then just copy the whole folder over easy peasy. If, it is, if the folder is there, then just go through and copy over the files and replace anything that, that it asks to be replaced. Once you're done with that, we are done with LA Vegetation. And we're going to be moving on to one of my favorite packs, which is the Indian Ocean. This one's really, really easy as well. Back out to your citizen folder. You have a choice of smaller waves or vanilla waves. I personally prefer vanilla waves because I like seeing the waves in GTA. And I don't really go to the waves that often. But what this is going to do is change how see-through your water is. I prefer really crystal clear water. It looks like kind of like how you'd expect the Bahamas to look or something like that. But if you don't like that, you can go medium clarity or even low clarity. Or you can go smaller waves and have the exact same three options as well. Me personally, I went vanilla, max clarity, then citizen, common, and you have to put it in a couple different places. Data, levels, GTA 5. So data, levels, GTA 5, water.xml. There you go. If you don't have the levels folder inside of your common data, then just drag it over. It'll have everything already inside of it. That's it. That's all you have to do. All right. We're done with that. Moving on, we're going to have uh, a smaller pack, which this part, take with a grain of salt. Uh, I haven't really noticed a big difference, but I went ahead and did it anyway because the rest of the pack is so good that I just kind of assumed that it was good. But this is going to change the explosion effects. From what I've noticed, it just makes it uh, makes the explosion a little bit more uh, realistic and less like super fiery, if that makes sense. If you like how default explosion works and you don't want to do this, just ignore this pack. Um, but we're going to go citizen, common first, data, data, effects, effects, and then explosion, fx, dot, dat. Just going to drag that over. Easy peasy. Then we're going to back out to your citizen and go platform, data, data, and then explosion, dot, ymt. Drag that over. That's done. Go back out to your citizen folder. See, this is probably going to be... The most complicated part, not necessarily complicated, but uh, it's just the most tedious with how you have to install it, how many files there are. This is called Project, what is it called actually? Uh, Project Reload Texture Pack. Essentially, this adds textures that LA Roads and LA Vegetation didn't. So it just adds even more really custom, cool looking textures without really affecting performance of game. So what we're going to do with this is follow the pathways. So platform levels, GTA 5, boom. You're going to already have these folders and you're going to already have lots of files inside of them from LA Revo and Vegetation. And we don't want to replace any of those because they're really good files and they're better than the reload pack because it doesn't have as many. So what we want to do is go into each folder manually. So this one in City E only has a Hollywood. So we're going to go to Hollywood 01, Hollywood 01, and then Hollywood 101. Follow that. And you're going to copy these files over and drag them over, but when you do it, you're gonna say skip these files. Just like that, that way it doesn't replace any duplicates, it only adds extras if there are some, which there are a few. Then we go into Hollywood 1 RD, and we do the same exact thing. Copy them, drag them over, skip these files, it's gonna drag over any extras. If you don't see anything pop up, that's okay. And you're gonna do that for every single folder in here. So you're gonna go into the hills, you're going to the generic and you're going to go into props and you're going to just keep following the pathways. So you get to the, the uh, YTD folder or types of files and you're just going to drag them over and you're going to hit skip these files and do that for every single one in here. Once you're done with that, and that is going to take a few minutes because it's a little tedious, you're done with that part of the install. OK, so we are. For the most part, done with the 5M part of the install. There's a few things we'll have to do when we launch the game, and I'll explain that once we go through the GTA 5 section. But uh, you're pretty much done with all these packs. Easy peasy. Next up, we're going to be doing the stuff that goes into your GTA 5 folder. Um, the first one and the most important one is going to be uh, EMB, which is it makes car shiny, building shiny. It just overall makes your game look really good. It is going to affect frame rate a little bit. So if you don't have a super good PC, maybe write down what files you're putting in here if you're thinking about installing them and remove them later if you don't like how they look. But in the EMB folder, you're simply going to click on wrapper version and you're going to copy everything except for the bottom two text documents and drag that directly into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. If it asks you to replace files, tell it to replace them. Uh, it probably won't though. That part, 
is done. EMP is installed. Next up is Reshade. Reshade is a very powerful program that's going to add a lot more color to the game, especially when you use my preset, which is the RZN V4. The RTG one, um, go ahead and <laughs> ignore that for now. That was a preset that I bought, and I just had it in here because I didn't want to lose it. So I'm going to put it back in my... Uh, in my game folder, but I never, I never really use it. I, I always use the R, RZ one. So essentially, you're just gonna open up reshade.exe, whatever the newest version is, click select the game, click browse, and then find your GTA 5 directory, which for me, it was already there. Uh, again, if you have it through Steam, it'll be through that. And then you just click open. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel, because I've already done it. And once you do that, it's gonna come up and say, uh, which version of DirectX does this have? You're going to click on the selection that says DirectX 11 slash 12. Um, or I think it's 10, 11 slash 12. It's all three of those because that's what GTA is. It's in DirectX 11. And then it's going to come up with a bunch of checkboxes. And the bottom left, you'll click uncheck all and then recheck all. And then click install or OK, whatever the button is. And then it's going to run through its setup. When it's done, it's going to come up and say setups in complete. You can now close this window. Once that's done, close the window. Take this reshade preset file, the RZNV4. Drag it over to your GTA 5 directory, and you're done with reshade. Whenever you first launch 5M, it's not going to look as colorful as this will, so what you want to do is hit home. For me, it's insert because I changed the keybind, but that's going to open up your reshade menu. You're going to want to click on, first of all, it's going to look like this. You're going to want to click on performance mode at the bottom so it just runs better. Click on settings. This is how you set your hotkey if you want it, but we'll go back to home. Click the drop down and find your GTA 5 directory folder. For me, it was in the D drive, uh, which is what the game launches from. So it's right there. Click the RZ NV4 and click select. It's going to think about it. And whenever it loads, it's going to look like this. All you have to do is uncheck a border and then hit home again or insert if that's your, your uh, hotkey. The menu will go away and the reshade successfully working. All right. And then last but not least, we have our premium packs. There's two of them. One of them is for GTA 5, the other one's for 5M. We're going to start with the 5M, jumping back over to that folder, because it's a little bit easier. This is called Realism Beyond. It's uh, $15 a month, or you can cancel it instantly if you just want the one-time payment to get the pack. Uh, that's up to you. I personally haven't noticed a huge difference in how the game looks, but it does change some textures that aren't changed before, and some stuff with the skybox. So if you're an absolute perfectionist like I am, and you want your game to look super super good um then go ahead and get the pack i definitely recommend it but it is more of a single player mod for story mode uh, so just keep that in mind so 5m you're gonna have textures and time cycle now i don't remember where these go so i'm gonna read this text document uh citizen common data so in 5m you're gonna go citizen common data you're going to drag over the textures folder because you probably won't have one of those and then under time cycle um i personally don't use these i didn't like how bright it made the game look and i already have my own versions of everything from the 5m folder from earlier but if you do want to try out their skybox drag these folder drop drag these files in and if you don't like them always replace them with something else that you do like it's just uh this just changes the clouds and the weather and just how the skybox in general looks so that's the 5m part done we can go ahead and i'm going to keep this open for right now um but we're done with that. Now the GTA 5 part, this is a bit more complicated. You're gonna need a program on your computer uh, called OpenIV. If you don't have it, download it. Click on Windows for GTA 5. It's gonna ask you where your GTA 5 directory is. Simply find that directory just like we did with Reshade. Um, and then it's gonna load. First thing you wanna do is go into Tools and ASI Manager. And you wanna install all three of these packs. You just click Install. It'll go green, just like that. Once they're all installed, you're going to go Tools, and then Package Installer. And then we're going to find this folder right here, which is our Realism Beyond folder. And we're going to start with the top one, Realism Beyond 2.0 Beta.oiv. I'll go ahead and open it, but I'm not going to install it. What you would do after you open this, click Install. It's going to ask you if you want to do it to the Game folder or the Mods folder. You want this to be installed to the Game folder. And then you'll confirm installation. Once you're done, go ahead and close out of it, and, uh, and that part's installed. Then you're going to do the same thing, Tools Package Installer, 
This time we're going to go to optional. We're going to go to rain reflection. We're going to do rain reflection ultra because it looks really good unless your PC can't handle it or it's a little bit slower. Then we're going to do rain reflection original. This is just makes the streets when it's rainy and puddles. It just makes them look really good as you can see right here. Same thing, install to the game folder, close out of it. And then we're done with open IMV. You can close out of that completely. Last but not least, you'll notice there's an extra folder in here called EMB settings. Very similar to our EMB folder, except these are the, uh, the person who made this is their own custom EMB presets right here. So essentially what we're gonna do is go to GTA 5. We're going to highlight everything here except for the how to install. We're gonna drag it over and we're going to replace. And there you go. Um, once you're done with that, close out of everything. Boom. All right, and once you do that, you'll notice that your your plants and your palm trees are gonna look a lot different. They're gonna be moving in the wind. Uh, you're gonna also notice if you're up in this area or other areas, there's gonna be pink trees that are added in, some pink bushes, some blue trees. That's the LA vegetation. Um, Notice all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and open our garage. Grab out the drafter for right now, just so I can kind of show you the roads. You'll notice the road textures are gonna look different. Um, you're also gonna notice things like Starbucks and Pirates of the Caribbean, City National Bank, Animal Kingdom. It's gonna be all that. Your sidewalks are gonna look like this. It's gonna be very nice. Um, and essentially, like I said before, your game, if you want it to look exactly like this, you're going to have to have dev mode enabled in the top left. If you don't really care about the Starbucks or the billboards or anything like that, which are all over the city, by the way, then you can get everything else to work except for that if you're not in dev mode by doing the installs we did before. Unless you're unlucky like I was, in which case the roads weren't working properly, so I had to launch them in dev mode as well. So anyway, what I was saying... Your game will look exactly like this with the trees, with the roads, with uh, the uh, the different billboards and stuff if you're in dev mode. But if you don't care about all that stuff and you just want the roads, the trees, and then like obviously the other custom 5M folders that make the skybox and stuff look different, then don't worry about uh, launching in dev mode. My personal favorite part is it kind of reflects the surface of the road a little bit, the colors of this... Uh, of the sky so it's really pretty and uh, these roads aren't even my favorite road textures these are nice but my uh, my favorite road textures got to be the ones up in sandy uh, and I'm not gonna show you that right now but uh, yeah the ones in sandy are really really nice but yeah that's the install I think I went over everything it's a little longer than I wanted to I rambled but it should get the job done and uh, yeah if you have any issues and I do mean any issues with this install Send me a DM on Discord, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to walk you through getting it set up or uh, or help you out with whatever problems you're having. I've spent so long troubleshooting this shit yesterday to make it easy for you guys, so <laughs> I think I've troubleshooted just about everything, but uh, yeah. And then to kind of show off the EMB, if you look at the sides of the buildings, you'll see they kind of reflect. Hard to tell at this time of night, but uh, that's what the EMB does. And yeah, um, real quick. Show you the water before we fly out. This water is going to be a lot more clear. It's every every water in the game. It's hard to tell in a pool because it's this is just a pool. But uh, when you go like to the beach or something, that water is going to be crystal clear and, and really shiny on the surface. It's going to be nice. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's about all I got for right now. I'm really happy with how my game looks. Hopefully you guys are too. And uh, yeah.